Hi. In this lesson, we're going to talk about concavity and the second derivative test. We know that the second derivative is nothing else than the derivative of the first derivative of a function. We can even uh, refer to it as the rate of change of the slope of that tangent. Now, this second derivative is going to help us determining the intervals of concavity for a function f of x. We can use the second derivative test to determine the intervals for which a function f of x is concave up or down and the local extremes for that function f of x. So if the first derivative f prime of a equals 0 and the second derivative at point a is positive then f of x is concave up and the point a and f of a is a local minimum. Graphically, this point would look something like this. If the first derivative f prime of a is 0 and the second derivative at that point a is negative, then f of x is concave down. Also, the point a and f of a is a local maximum. Graphically, this situation would look something like this. And the last thing that the second derivative test tells us is if the second derivative at point A is 0 and the second derivative of f of x changes sign when x increases from the left of A to the right of A, then the point A and f of A is a point of inflection. Uh, graphically, it's going to look something like that. So, the concavity changes from concave down to concave up, or from concave up to concave down, regardless. There is a point of inflection there, which is determined when the second derivative of f of x is 0. And around them, uh, the derivative of f of x changes sign. So only if they change sign, they are inflection points. Otherwise, they will not be inflection points. And uh, this is uh, the second derivative test, which helps us determining the intervals of concavity for a function f of x. Thanks for watching.